Hi Crocheters of the World, I am so 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 very happy that I finally finished this super bubblicious cardigan. I not love it, I just adore it, I am um, in love with it, <laughs> really, 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 really. Uh, it's been a long time uh, since I really wanted to uh, create, to design a, a bubblicious cardigan crochet bubblicious cardigan but something else that we always see uh, on the internet something mine something really mine so yes bubbles okay it's perfect but my bubbles <laughs> and now here it is my super bubblicious cardigan um, not only that the stitch that I used is the, the stitch that I used for the um, hugs neck warmer so you already know it it's a stitch that it's really lovely because yes it has lots of bubbles but it's lacy so it's not that heavy it is heavy yes it is obvious because we have so many so many bubbles it's obvious but it's not that heavy it's we have bubbles but uh as you can see it's so nice and lacy so it's lacy bubble and that's why I like it this is the first uh, idea that I had into my mind when I designed it the second idea were the two yarns that I used now I use a glitz yarn which is the prima donna yarn glitz and I use the Madonna yarn which is which is opaque and uh, nice and fluffy let's say because it has the mohair in so these two yarns give me the perfect combination of fiber combination for what i have in mind so a uh, mind <laughs> so this this project now about the fiber combination you can choose these two you need a uh, one or uh, two obvious I uh, actually <laughs> the quantity of yarn I wanted to say uh, I used about six 600 grams of yarn so you will need for a small to medium size you will need 600 grams of yarn I worked it with four millimeters hook and for a large to extra large you will need 800 uh, grams of yarn so two of these two um, packages actually actually in one package there are 400 grams of one type of yarn so a two are eight grand, uh, 800 grams so it's just perfect for small to medium and large to extra large uh, in the tutorial you have all so no written instruction no written instruction you have all that you need to work it actually because it's really really easy all that we we have to do uh, all the, the let's say the difficult part the most difficult part is here a little bit of the crazies okay so it's really easy now when you will finish it uh, will be nice and large here around the neck so you will have to put a nice border as I did here in the tutorial I only explain how to pick up the stitches to put the border but it's really easy because the rest it's only half double crochet and maybe some decreases if you need actually in my second to last row of the border I put six decreases and actually you don't have to put more than six decreases in one row if you need more you just work one row with six decreases and one row without and so on but I don't think you will need maybe you can switch to four millimeter to 3.5 so this will gives you the decrease effect too so this is the idea now about the fiber combination because from my point of view for this cardigan is very important for all the designs the, the crochet and knitting designs the the fiber combination it's very important uh, to uh, make uh, to make from so to, to, to transform let's say a simple crochet or knitted uh, item in a super 
beautiful design. It's the yarn, it's the fiber that makes the difference. Believe me, you can see. Now, uh, I have here some, uh, some um, fiber combination that I put here for you actually. And the first one is if you want to work with Unicolor. So we have, I have this wool cord. It's uh, actually the wool cord, really, really nice and soft yarn. Would be just great for it. But it is to be worked with 3.5 millimeters hook. So not with four, will be just a slight difference. Okay, of weight just a slight difference just great uh, not that fancy let's say but really nice okay another uh, yarn combination it's one unicolor and one uh, col colorful <laughs> changing color now this is exactly a silk yarn I wanted to try it to touch it with my hands because I want to know because usually the sock yarn is really mm, not very uh, soft this is soft so we can just use it for crochet pullovers or actually for this one so this is the Fiamato uh, wool and with this one they would be just great together look at them aren't they just great together yes they are okay um, if you need, I will put the link below of Madonna Glitz, uh, Madonna, a Prima Donna Glitz, so that what I use. If you need some other combination that I am presenting you right here or some other combination, you can just tell me your favorite colors and I can choose them from you because I just love to choose color combination, you know. So uh, write me on the mail below. Okay, another nice combination would be Unicolor, but uh, one yarn would be this one. This is Mirage, a neutral color and yarn. So very soft, very nice. It's just a simple yarn. And a little bit more original yarn, which is this one, Piemonte. Really, really lovely. Look at them together. Would give a nice, nice, nice effect. Okay. Or this one with this one. So that's it. Okay, I hope I explain you. I tell you all the details. Oh my gosh, I am so very happy about this design. I am always happy about my designs. This is normal because they are mine. They are my baby, <laughs> my babies. But this one really, really rocks from my point of view. Hope you will enjoy it. At least a half that I enjoy it to create it and to, to share it with you. Now, if you like my tutorials and you want to help me, just share them, share them on Facebook, on Twitter, anywhere with your friends, anywhere. Talk about them with your friends. So this will, will help me a lot. Okay, only if you like them. So uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for, for all your comments. Thank you for all your likes that you put. And see you at the next tutorial. Now let's get started with this super bubblicious cardigan. Now let me just, before we begin, let me just show you a little bit the sizes that I made for you. I'm working with four, so you can work to four with four, four millimeters hook. And this is the size small to medium, large to extra large and extra extra large. Now for the small to medium, for the back side, we will put 110 plus four chains. For the large to extra large, we will put 130 plus four chains. And for the extra extra large, we will put 150 plus four chains. This is the back side. And we will just go ahead and work a, a rectangle for the length that we want. For the front side, we will work 50 plus 4 chains, obvious. So it's 50 plus 50 because we need two panels. It's um, 50 plus 50, so 10 chains less. And it's exactly the same thing for the other two sizes. So 60 plus 60 is uh, 140 and 20. 70 plus 70 is 140. So it's uh, 10 stitches uh, chains less. Okay. 
and this is the the or really the graph it's really easy it's a rectangle on the back side mine is 55 centimeters uh, if you want to uh, create your size so to alter in another size you can just take your circumference of your hips and uh, so the hips circumference actually and uh, leave for ease 5 to 8 centimeters depends how large you want it to work it so it's a kind of oversized cardigan, nice and large. Okay, and divide by 2. Then put a multiple of 10 plus 4 in this, in this um, measure, the measure that you have, half of the circumference is the measure, plus 10 more. So you will put, uh, let's say, on 55 centimeters and add 10 more chains. Okay, this is how you work because this um, stitch uh, becomes narrower uh, once we begin to work it. Okay, that's why we need 10 uh, chains more if you don't want to pick up the size from here. So, let us begin with the pattern. And now that we understand how easy it is, let me show you if you again want to work exactly with my uh, two, my yarn combination or with two colors, even if uh, you are working with other kind of two combination, color combinations uh, or yarn combinations. Um, I worked here, actually I went a little bit wrong, but from here it's okay. So two rounds with one color, two rounds with the other color. This is how we will, rows, sorry, this is how we will work. Now let me begin with my 60 plus one chain and then I will be back just to show you how to uh, begin, how to work your um, pattern stitch. So I have my 60 plus one and now I will just begin with, uh, sorry, 16 plus four, one, two, three and four and into the fifth chain from the hook, so not plus one, but plus four, into the uh, fifth chain from the hook, insert hook and work your first bubble. To work your first bubble, you will just need eight triple crochets that you won't finish. So you work like this, yarn or pull through two, pull through two, and you remain like this, three loops on the hook. We go with the third, triple with the fourth triple. So this beginning chain four, we won't consider it as a triple crochet in this pattern. So now we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we are. Now that we have our eight, now there are actually nine loops on the hook because, because we have the first loop of the chain four, yarn over and we pull through all. We keep the finger here because we need to push a little bit and we just chain one to secure. This is our first bubble. Now it's really easy. We chain five and we skip four, stitchy, four chains. One, two, three and four. Into the next we will single crochet. Now this is how we will have to continue on. Chain five, now we will uh, kind of repeat three, four, five. Yarn over twice, skip one, two, three, four, and to the fifth, let's go ahead and work our second bubble. Now here we will just need to work again eight triple crochets that we don't want to finish, so we just leave them the last loop on the hook. This is the last loop. So yarn over twice, pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two, yarn or pull through two and remain like this. And now we have two, four, six. Let's go for two more. One and two. Now we are ready. Yarn over, pull through all and chain. And this is my second lovely bubble. Four, five. I just adore bubbles. Now, 
we will skip again one two three four and into the fifth we will single crochet go ahead and work like this your first row the second row will be almost the same we will just uh, change where we single crochet we will bubble where we bubble we will single crochet I have my six bubbles here as I have here as you can see and on my 50 chains not 60 50 chains and now I will work my second row for the second row I will chain and single crochet into the first uh, the, the chain over the now to be sure just to be sure that you are in you will work the next row good into the single crochet here just put a marker in okay I really don't need it anymore because I worked a lot with this um, stitch but it's better and now we will three four five chain five and into the single crochet we will bubble that's all that we that changes let's say into this second row of the pattern stitch so we will begin and we will finish with a single crochet into the first we began and we finished with a bubble that's all five six seven and eight okay let me finish this and I just want to show you how to uh, add the new color and then I will show you how to actually switch to the to the other color but at the end of this row I will switch to the other color so single crochet you can just finish it and put it like this okay and I will just insert hook into the single crochet insert actually the new color into oh my gosh please so just pull and chain okay we turn okay like this we chain three more and we are just ready to begin with our first bubble with this color one two three four five six and seven actually one more <laughs> we need eight okay here we are with our eight yarn over pull through all and this is what we have now uh, the yarn must remain on this size we, 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 we are not carrying on with us the yarn we are just leaving it here on this side okay the other yarn and I will just continue on working one and then second so I will be back here with the second row with single crochet over this and then I will show you how to change to switch to the other color so you will work like this you will switch like this every uh, two rows so I'm back I finished my two rows and now I take again the yarn the other yarn and just want to show you how to switch to this color no actually it was perfect uh, this one I want to let it on the right side we have the chain four we will slip stitch four times so one two we have to reach the single crochet of the second row this is three this is four and exactly here it's fifth and into the single crochet finally we have the sixth and here we are we are ready to begin now a very important thing is that 
the other yarn we have to leave it here on the right side okay we just go on and now one two three four and we are ready to begin with our bubble and um, to continue on and this is how you will switch the length of my cardigan is 50 centimeters and I worked on the front side uh, 35 centimeters until I began with the decreases so I will meet you exactly here at this level where when I uh, begin with the decreases and I will show you obvious how to decrease so I finished in length now I have uh, to begin with the decreases before I uh, want to uh, begin and to show you how to decrease to put the decreases for the v-neckline uh, I just want to tell you something here I have it as so in the mirror like uh, this is the um, left side when you wear it okay left side and right side uh, on the left side you will have uh, the side where you change the yarn on the external part on the left side on the right side sorry you will have it here and this is normal so don't worry now to work the decreases uh, it's here that I began with a single crochet so actually it's here that I do I, I really didn't work a bubble so I'm here and I don't want to begin with a bubble as you can see I have my single crochet here I have my single crochet here but I don't want to begin to a bubble I want uh, to work here the single crochet directly which means uh, it's really difficult for me to to go all around or to uh, all around to go and work some um, um, slip knots so I will actually cut the yarn okay so cut the yarn but here here you don't have to cut the yarn because when you work here on the left side so when you wear it I am talking about that left side when you wear it it's the left side so uh, when you come you come you, you stop here okay you stop here with a single crochet you don't work the bubble here so it's the last bubble but but here it's the uh, the first bubble so we begin with that so that's why we cannot do uh, anything else but to cut the yarn so I cut the yarn and now I am ready I will cut this one too uh, or maybe not just let me show you uh, I cut the yarn and now I am ready to begin not here but here with a single crochet and the rest I will just work the stitches as they are and I will turn back to show you how to finish here so this is how you begin the first row of decreases I will go to the end I will come back and I will show you how to finish the second row with the decrease because we will have eight rows with the decreases one row we begin with it one row we finish with it and so on so the beginning and the finish uh, I want to show you so the end so actually where we do the decreases quindi detto e fatto questo l'ho lasciato qua detto e fatto tagliato il filo ho fatto un nodino tagliato il filo tanto dopo lo posso nascondere tranquillamente e uh, semplicemente non faccio qui il bubble vado qui perché dall'altra parte quindi eh, la parte sinistra come viene indossato dall'altra parte finiamo qua ok e praticamente non sono più andata a lavorare il bubble qua ho fatto solo il punto basso qua il bubble non lo fa. invece qua iniziamo per cui non possiamo fare altro adesso vado a lavorare il primo giro saranno 8 giri potete anche contare 8 giri questo è il primo nel primo iniziamo con la diminuzione poi nel secondo finiamo con l'addizione eh, la diminuzione per cui vado a lavorare fino alla fine il primo e vado anche a eh, e torno anche con il secondo fino al momento della diminuzione perché sono queste le cose cioè e questa è la cosa che ve la voglio far vedere oramai sappiamo come si lavora il punto per cui io vi voglio far vedere solo l'inizio la fine inizio fine inizio fine inizio fine uh, sono otto uh, giri so i finished the second 
row and I worked the bubble over the double cro the single crochet where we began. Meanwhile, I cut it the yarn of the, the the second color that we work with. And now we want to begin another row. Another row is the third row and we will begin it here into this single crochet here. Now, because we don't want the next time when we will switch to this color, we don't want to um, cut the yarn again. All we have to do now is to slip stitch to this single crochet. So I will just slip stitch a little bit. As I said, just because I don't want to cut the yarn again. So like this and here I am. I will just stop here and leave it like this. Now third row begins into the single crochet with a bubble. So into this single crochet. One, two, three, four, and let's get started with our bubble. Then we will go ahead and work our third row and we will turn with our fourth row and I will show you how to work the fourth row. So it's two, four, six, seven, I just want to finish the bubble. You know that the bubble, when you begin it, you have to finish it. Okay. Now I have my bubble here, look at it. This is what I have. This is, here it is my yarn. And as you can see, we just began our adventure, uh, decreases adventure. Now let me finish the third row and I will be back at the end of the fourth row to show you actually how to finish. So I finished this, the fourth actually row and I finished it into the single crochet. So with the bubble, I won't chain five and single crochet into the last bubble, okay? So I just finish it with a bubble. Now we will begin, uh, actually the problem is, it's not a problem, but it's okay. <laughs> this is the idea, uh, we have to cut the yarn um, So we, when we change the color. So we work two rows with the yarn and then we cut and we begin with the other color because we actually have to begin always. So always begin, this is the, the um, algorithm for these eight rows. So we work the first and the second. The first begins, the second uh, finishes with the decrease. When we begin with the decrease, we always begin into the single crochet. So we skip the bubble and into the single crochet we go. Now I will cut the yarn here. So I am at the end of this row. So I just want to cut the yarn because I will begin a new so two rows again with the other color. I already work four, I have to work four. I will have at the end uh, three bubbles. So from six we will have three because we eliminate a bubble in each second, let's say, row. Now, uh, we begin into the single crochet, so not here, but into the single, as you can see, then like this, we have the line. So it's here that we begin with our bubble. And when we come back, let me, one, two, three, four, and we begin with the bubble. When we come back, we finish with the bubble. We finish with the with the single crochet here. Okay. So we finish with a single crochet here. Exactly as we finish this one. And we begin with the bubble into the single crochet. We cut the yarn and we begin. And this is how we two, five, six. And this is how we actually decrease. Seven and eight. This is how we decrease. 
okay so this is the bubble now I will go single bubble single but one when we come back here I have a single okay so I will work a bubble and that's it I will stop here with the bubble and then it's here that I will begin the next into the single crochet and this is actually uh, how we will finish okay with the decreases don't forget that we need now I will have I have one two three and four bubbles into the next we will have three and then we will work here three so four bubbles and then three one two three four five six seven eight okay and this is it this is the front side now the this will be the front side. Now I will show you how to put the parts together and how to put the sleeves that it's really, really, really easy. And so as you can see, I finished with uh, this color. Now I began into the single crochet as usual. Okay, so into the single crochet we go to begin a new row. And now I will work my last two rows of decreases and then I am ready with the v-neck line I will be back to show you as I said how to put the parts together and how to begin to work the sleeve which is really 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 easy this was let's say the most difficult part of the entire pattern so I almost finished my uh, cardigan I am back as I told you uh, to show you how to work the sleeve and first of all I want to explain me a little bit how to work here around the neckline because uh, on this side so I put actually from where I began to decrease I only had the bubbles and that's why I had to put some chain 5 so mm, to, to connect them I slip stitched here and I just chain five and slip stitch into the first bubble chain five slip stitch into the next and so on until I reach the uh, sewn part back and front now here again I have to mm, tell you how I, I actually sew it but it's really easy I sew the two bubbles together then I just just went as you can see as you can see on the chain five and I sew and then I sew together the um, single crochets and then the bubbles and so on so it's pretty easy to sew it that's why I I didn't um, actually film this okay now um, when you have them all like this on the uh, back side it's really really large so what we want to do I have here six bubbles I insert hook into my first and then I slip stitch and chain five slip stitch into the next and chain five and this how this is how I joined them so I kind of uh, make it uh, more uh, narrow around the neck and I still have to work some single crochets all around and actually I will work now I won't stay here to show you but it's single crochet into the slip stitch and single crochet around the chain five and so on all around because we have only chain five here okay uh, the most important thing is to check if you have the same number of chain five on one side and on the other side of the v-neck um, you must have the same number so this is what I will do to make it narrow, narrower the, the, um, the neckline. Okay, and this is what you have to do. Now, uh, I want to show you here how to work the sleeve. First of all, first, first of all you just need to take your um, cardigan and to uh, try it. Maybe it's the better thing. Uh, you have to skip as many as you need to leave um, for the sleeve so I skipped actually six two four six and six on the other side okay 
So this is the sleeve. And now I will take my yarn. I will take my yarn. It's here. And insert hook in the middle here. And yeah. Take the yarn. Like this. Pull through all. Pull through both actually. Like this. And now that we have it, I will chain one and actually around this thing I will single crochet. Then chain five is pretty easy. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one bubble and begin to work here in the middle the bubble. For the for the for the sleeve obvious. So I will go ahead and work my bubble and then slip one bubble and in between work the single crochet and this is how you will work the sleeve then slip stitch into the single crochet chain four to begin another round because you know where we single crochet we have to work the bubble two four six eight okay I have it as I said before one two three four five so now I will skip one bubble and single crochet here okay and this is how I will go all around and at the end as I said slip stitch into the single crochet chain four begin with the bubble then uh, if you begin with the bubble into the next you will chain one and single crochet on the top of the bubble and so on. Now I actually um, work two rounds with one color and then I cut the yarn. So for the sleeve for working new round is easier like this. Now the last thing that I want to explain you or maybe I can tell you how to Yes, it's to explain you how to work, how to do. You can sew the two parts together or the two parts together or you can do as I did to join them. I'll show you here. So actually uh, here I joined them. I leave only three and three like this. And to join them, you will single crow, you will slip stitch in between the bubbles, chain five, and again slip stitch in between the bubble and chain five and slip stitch, uh, not in between the bubbles, but through both uh, sides, obvious to join them. Here it's where, where you join them and chain five and so on. So this is how I uh, do it. I did it. Okay. That would be all. As you can see, it's so very easy and it's a very nice and fancy cardigan. So, hope you enjoy this tutorial or and this uh, design of mine. It's pretty easy, really. Uh, it's not. It's even fast enough. Uh, it it grows fast enough, believe me. Even if we have these bubbles with eight uh, triple crochet together, believe me, it it grows uh, fast. And yes, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss another video of mine. Share my videos on other socials, Facebook, Twitter, with your friends. So for me. It's something very important and if you like my tutorials, just don't forget to like them and to share them. Thank you. See you at the next tutorial. Bye-bye.